Welcome back, Mumphy Mafia. Hope you're all doing well. We are on the back end of an epic two week camping slash road trip that has taken us across five states and had stops in the Redwoods, Yosemite, and over to the Grand Canyon. Now we're heading back and we're just a little bit outside of Bryce Canyon in Utah. And it has been kind of a nice little learning experience as well with some of the tools that we've used out on this trip. We're gonna cover and review a couple of bare bones products, like this little hatchet here, and I've got a little bare bones machete. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. First off, let me just say that this video is not sponsored by bare bones. I did purchase these tools myself, but if you're interested in bare bones, they are an outdoor supply company, good for some camping tools, as well as some backyard tools as well. So if you're interested, check them out. We are going to be going over the field hatchet and their Japanese nata tool. So let's go ahead and review the bare bones field hatchet. Let's go over some of the key features of the bare bones field hatchet. As you can see, it does have a nice carbon steel blade with a hammer. It's got a nice hickory handle with a lanyard hole cutout, and it's got a nice little blade sheath. Now this is the first time that we're actually utilizing this particular tool, and we were using it to process firewood. And over the course of utilizing this camp hatchet, field hatchet, the head came loose. Now this does not instill a lot of trust in a hatchet or any kind of tool if you're if it basically comes apart. Bare Bones does have a fix for this on their FAQ, which is basically to drop it from 10 inches onto a hard surface to reset it. But if I have to reset a tool that isn't fully affixed to the handle, I don't want to risk injuring myself or someone else in the campsite. And therefore, I can't recommend anyone utilizing the Bare Bones Field Hatchet at this current time until they find a way to better affix the head to the handle. Now let's go ahead and get into the Bare Bones Japanese Nata tool. And as you can see, it comes nicely sheathed. And on the back, you get a belt clip, which is really nice. To help secure it into the sheath, it's got a nice little leather button release. And as we draw out this tool, you will see that it is a full tang, 12 inch solid steel blade with a walnut handle secured by two pins and you get a little lanyard hole in the back. You'll notice that it does have a finger groove to help with grip. And this is actually a good grip for those with large hands and small hands. You also notice that once you get this in your hand, that it is a little bit blade heavy. That's because most of the weight is up front in the blade. Good for helping to process firewood or clearing brush. It just kind of gives you that ease of momentum so that way you're not putting a lot of effort into the blade swing. As we were processing firewood, because we had to switch from the field hatchet, this has got a very thick spine on it and we were hammering away on the back of this with my main axe and this is solid. It may have a couple of nicks or dings in it, but it is a solid spine. The other thing you'll notice is the end of the blade has kind of a flatter end instead of say a rounded edge. I'm not quite sure what this particular edge is used for. So if you know, let me know down in the comments section what this particular edge might be good and used for. Otherwise, this is a great firewood processing tool. Also, if I'm clearing brush or if I need to just kind of shave off some dead branches for that firewood, this is a great tool. I can recommend this simply because the handle is secured. I have full control over where this goes and I'm making sure that it is as safe as possible when I'm using this at the campsite. For those reasons, I will be keeping this as a mainstay in my camping equipment. Thanks for joining me on this review of the Bare Bones Field Hatchet and Japanese Nata Tool. If you are interested in picking up either one of these, I will have a link to them down in the description box below. 
I will also have them over on the Mumphrey.us page, so be sure to jump over there, check out the mods page where I will leave a link to these and any other item I have on my Toyota Tacoma. While you're over at Mumphrey.us, be sure to jump over to the shop where you can pick up the version one Mumphrey patch, as well as some other Mumphrey merchandise. It greatly helps support the channel and I greatly appreciate all your support. So be sure to like, and make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.